front. Flavor on the outside is claiming star hit. And over on the inside, Spice Dolls coming through late. Flavor hit the lead. It's close. Flavor, maybe a nose to Spice Doll. Very close to a dead heat. Star hits run third. A gap away was Wyndham Special, Bill Addiction, Star Joe, Dangerous Reef, St. Petersburg knocked up. Then Bill Addiction and Umaline has failed to run first up today. 1.16.28 is the time. And Flavor with 58 kilos, just getting or giving or getting two and a half from Spice Doll under the weight for age scales. She's been gutsy through on the inside. Flavor, who's not a noted wet tracker, has put his nose in front there. Spice Doll on the inside, but Flavor, it looks like, will win the money. Number one, Neville Wilson for John Hawkes running right up to that brilliant first up performance in the Bletchingley in a win a closing third. And this eight-year-old gelding who has won $1.4 million in stakes money looks to have just got there from Spy Stoll, Chad Lever, Leon McDonald, and star hit. Didn't she run a race in third place? Shane Cale, Gary Kennebel. Numbers are on the frame. One is first, eight second, ten third, fourth home number nine and fifth in six. So it's one, eight, ten... He's an old marvel. That's 13 wins from 58 starts for the eight-year-old flavour. 260 and 150. Well, Graham, uh, back at Caulfield, you've got a Kiwi there. Yes, and a very talented one too. Michael Moroney joins me right now, and he's got a very talented uh, gallop amongst many talented gallopers in his stable, and I refer to Perna. This is a, or potentially a classy gallop. Yes, sir. Zark Angel going up in the centre to complete the line, so they're set to run. 1100 metres for the Thomas North. Perno has the inside. Off they go. Perno jumped OK near the inside and away fast was Tarathea, Shattered Love and Galatea. Archangel and Divine Hope got away very quickly and Shalayami is just off them. As they settle down, Perno's drifted back. She's about third or fourth last. At the 800, Tarathea deep out a narrow leader from Divine Hope near the inside and Rose Attar on the outside of the leader. Shattered Love is next and they're followed by Archangel. A length and a half Mustang, Melanie, Chardonnay and Dice and Shalayami is very wide from Galatea and Perno pushing up near the inside behind them. Two links to Del Trees, Lou Cola, and last of all, Noir Sia. Coming up towards the turn now, Divine Hope goes through on the inside and leads. Shattered Love coming about five wide from Tarathea Rose, Atar, Archangel behind them. Perno's got right through behind them and is now getting to the outside to launch her challenge. They're into the straight now, Shattered Love in front. Perno's claiming her out in the middle of the track. She's raced up strongly now, the favourite. Archangel battles away from Rose, Atar, but Perno starts to open up now. Archangel coming home well on the inside, but Perno shifts. She is all class. And Perno won it eased up on the line. Deltrice flashed home, grabbed second from a long way back in the field. Archangel might be third. Galatea not far away, deep out. Then Tarathea. And they were followed by Shattered Love and Lucola. Next in was Mustang Melanie Noircia, Shalaya Me. Trailed further back then by Rose Attar, Chardonnay and Dice and Divine Hope. She's pretty good this one. Number 13, Perno, Kieran McAvoy and Michael Moroney have taken out the Thomas North handicap and Kieran hardly moved a muscle in the last hundred metres or so as she cruised away. Number 13, Perno unbeaten now in four starts and that was just a super ride by Kieran. Second home, number four, Del Trice, Patrick Payne and third, number six, Arx Angel holding out uh, Galatea. So numbers here are 13, four, and six, 13, four, and six. Gee, the Moroni and uh, McAvoy, uh, McAvoy combination must be again looking forward to a big spring. Uh, the second mortgage had everybody uh, talking when he uh, won so easily at Werribee a couple of weeks ago. He's being aimed at uh, big handicaps and with this filly uh, in, the, in the stable as well, Perno, she is very, very exciting. She's by Centaine from Martine Michelle, who's a grave and a mare. Uh, so she's got the future ahead of her and with the turn of acceleration that she possesses uh, she's very very good great ride Karen uh, he had to get to the outside to win the race and he's come from a long way back along the inside and just eased over the heels found the best ground and away she went she's very very good now she's run the 1100 meters there in 15.49 let's just have a little comparison the McNeil run earlier in the day 
on what was then an officially slow rated track was in 15.60. So she's run a tick faster than the Colt Tully Dane on worse ground and untouched. I think that just underlines what uh, a good filly we are looking at. Three lengths by a long neck with the margins and the time 15.49 and that's quicker time than Tully Dane recorded earlier in the day with a better usage of the track and this filly's done it untouched. Righto, Greg, she's by Centaine and uh, gosh, uh, shades of a, another great Centaine, Mayor Graham. Do you remember Slight Chance? And she looks a little bit like Slight Chance. Okay. Good on you, John. Thank you. Yeah, comes back to scale. Big round of applause. And I've got Michael Moroni with me. By golly, she's lived up to uh, what you thought. Yes, yeah, certainly. Look, again, she showed her a great turn of foot. Yeah. Uh, got a little bit further back than what I thought she would. All right, Les, thank you. We've got three horses to move in for the tramway handicap. Now, two expertise in Kingsgate. 420, number six. 430, number 10. Kutamutu and Maitland Gold. 520 for three Diamond Dane. One to come up now, and that is Kingsgate's. Now, Kingsgate is moving in to complete the line. Kingsgate is in, and we're all set. S set to run in the tramway handicap. Racing this time, a nice level start to juggling time. Diamond Dane got out well, so did Kutamutu. National Saint at Abinicio are up driving for the front spot, and Kingsgate trying to head them all off, followed by Maitland Gold getting in behind the pace now. Length and a half to Chinois, and for pleasure giver, followed by Expertise, and two lengths to Alley Suez to the side. A battle for the lead. Kingsgate wide out just has it now from National Saint. The grey Abinicio length away, third and two to Diamond Dane around Kutamutu. Then Maitland Gold, a couple of lengths to Juggling Time and Chinois, Zantra, Pleasure Giver Expertise, and two and a half lengths to Alley Suez and the tramway. They reach the 600, plenty of speed on here. National State about ahead, Kingsgate. Third Abinicio, fourth, hugging the rails, Kutamutu. Diamond Dane, three and four deep, and Maitland Gold is on the extreme outside. Kingsgate raced up to National State as they straighten, and Kutamutu got a dream run between them. Diamond Dane to their outside, and deeper still is Maitland Gold, and then Juggling time, Chinoy, Abinicio and Expertise under the arches. Here's a deal, Kutamutu and Diamond Dane from Maitland Gold. Kutamutu the inside and Diamond Dane, they'll battle it out. Maitland Gold is next, but Diamond Dane hits the front from Kutamutu and Maitland Gold flying, but Diamond Dane wins the tramway. Second, Maitland Gold, third, Kutamutu, then a photo for fourth. Juggling time with Chinoy and Expertise, Kingsgate, Ale Suez. A long margin to Abinicio, National Saint. Zantra and Pleasure Giver last to complete the course. Number three, Diamond Dane has proven the master of Kutamutu Maitland Gull. Maitland Gull second, Kutamutu battling on very, very well for third. But the winner, Diamond Dane, he's flying at the moment, has paid on the New South Wales tote number three at $5.10 and $1.90. Maitland Gold, terrific run for second. And she'll return $2. And number six, third, Kutamutu, had every hope. And he's paid $1.70. Those numbers official, 3, 10, and 6. The winner trained by Bruce McLaughlin by Dane Hill from Diamond Shower. They don't come much better, Brad, do they? A four-year-old Bay Entire written by Corey Brown. Number 10, Maitland Gull. She's got a foot right on the till. Right on the till. Winner's till. By Maid of Gull, the four-year-old chestnut mare, Albert Stapleford, Chris Munson. Third, Kutamutu, a Dane wind gelding, trained by Jack Denham, Darren Beedman. The time was 118.28. The record is 116.90. And the fourth to come. Well, summing the race up, I couldn't uh, really offer an excuse for, uh, for anything really. Chinoy got home well. Geez, the type of horse that if he got a run in a race like the Epsom, it's not beyond him. Juggling time battled on. He'd be just behind the place getters. Uh, and of the others, expertise. He made up ground expertise uh, from back at the tail of the field. Now it's 31064. 31064. The margins a long neck both ways. 11828. 3679. The sectional time. And here are the official tapes. Good on you, Ian. Thank you. Uh, the Dane Hills have been winning all over Australia today. Corey Brown uh, clinching an unusual double in the space of three days. He won the Wyong Cup on 
Thursday on Danyon and the Tramway Handicap today on Diamond Dane. Now Cheltenham Race 8, six minutes off, Ruru Hilton Donaldson. OK, John, what you just saw is on the way to Cheltenham Park and it's not a, a light shower as we've been experiencing all day, but it looks like dumping rain. So let's hope we get this race out of the way and uh, it passes over by the last. But the wind has changed direction and it's blowing straight into the box where also the television camera is as well. There's big value here about one of these. Now, where is it? It's currency rep number four on track. It's about the double each way quote, so it's massive overs at $13. Rekabar's a big price at $9.50. Uh, Jetway's no value. At risk is the course favourite. I'm surprised how short he is at risk. Um, but the value on the TAB looks to be with four currency rep, five Rekabar, and... There's been a little bit for must and air at longer odds, but definitely about uh, the four and the five. So, mind you, outside of at risk, it's a very even market. A lot of horses around the double each way quote or a bit shorter. They move in. Currency rep coming forward. This uh, six-year-old gelding having start number eight. Blessed with immense talent. This is his big test. Set to go. News flashes in. Ready to run. Oh, one of the stalls opening from behind. Easy landing, pushing on the back of the gate. Settles again. Alcohol go easy cup. 14.50. Set their racing. And Mustin Air went out the back. No speed at all from it. First away, Rekabar being taken on in the early stages by Spring Warrior in the SAJC colours of blue and gold. Settling just behind them at risk, moving up now. Around currency rep, followed wider out by News Flash, and easy landing over on the inside, then Mustin Air. Uh, back towards the tail of the field, Ruralism and Jetway was wide. At that first corner, no real speed on here, a thousand to run. They bunch up behind the leaders, and Spring Warrior took over, led from News Flash, Wrecker Bar, and at risk, which looks to be pulling in fourth place. Then Jetway, who's wide around them, from Easy Landing, then Currency Rep, Mustin Air and Ruralism's only five off the lead as they come down the side in the Alcohol Go Easy Cup. 7.50 metres to run and now News Flash is applying pressure to Spring Warrior. A length and a half away, third Jetway and at risk in the centre, followed by Wrecker Bar on the rails. And then came Mustin Air starting its run, followed wider out by Currency Rep, Easy Landing and Ruralism was last on the turn, 500 metres to go. The leader is Spring Warrior just in front of News Flash, at risk, Jetway, Mustin Air the widest. Currency rep got held up. Easy landing looking for the way through. Ruralism got the inside run. No one wants the rails and Ruralism's coming after them. At risk went to the lead. Ruralism chasing hard from Spring Warrior. Then easy landing getting into the clear. Out wide at risk the inside. Ruralism. Then easy landing making some ground with Mustin Air. It's still at risk the leader. Mustin Air down the outside running a big race from easy landing and at risk is going to take the alcohol go easy cup. Scored from Mustin Air I'd say. About a half head away in front or a half head away third was easy landing and then Rekabar Ruralism came through on the inside but that going's no good it looks like at this stage of the day then currency rep from Newsflash Jetway Spring Warrior amongst the tail enders well Hilton thinks it might be 682 at risk Mustin Air and easy landing we'll confirm those placings shortly but the winner will pay $3.80 and $1.80 seven minutes to the last at Caulfield one out. It's Contagious 270, Royal Censure X 770, Badgers Wood 480, Scratch 5, Dot Com is $7.20, uh, Late Scratching Fra Magic $20, Jasper's Gold. Matt Star 10, Mind the Gap 10, Rift 17, Tea Tree Flyer 28. Going out onto the track at Caulfield, Stephen Vella's riding Badgers Wood in this line. Oh, in the previous on the card, been the biggest winner of the day, running quicker time than Tally Dane did with earlier use of the track in the McNeil Stakes. So just really underlined her, the quality of that win. Now Jasper's Gold coming up into the lane. Tea Tree Flyer still away and so is Dot Com and Mind the Gap. The Wonder Mare Sunline back uh, in winning ways and taking out the Memsey for the second year running this afternoon. She'll just keep on improving now every step of the way towards the Cox Plate. Tea Tree Flyer had moved up into the gates. Here's Mind the Gap coming in. And they're nearly ready. 
Com to move in. Well tried favourite is number two. It's contagious and good support at longer odds for Matt Starr, who's unbeaten in three heavy track runs. One in New Zealand of 1400, he won at about 132. Now they're set and they're away in the last on the card and Badger's Wood has ridden out from the gates. Matt Starr began quickly and is going up on the outside of uh, Rift and Royal Sancherac as they settle down. In behind them it's Contagious moving up on the outside and they're followed then by Jasper's Gold about a length and a half to Tea Tree Fly and Mind the Gap and Dot Com is at the tail. 1500 to go and Badger's Wood the leader. He's out by a length here to Matt Starr going into second placing. It's Contagious is improving deep out too and Rift is getting a good trail for Fourth on the inside, one tea tree flyer. Jasper's gold, a length and a half mind the gap on the outside of Royal Sancherac. And dot com is last of all. Badger's Wood took the field up the top of the hill, out near the 1,200 metres by a length to its contagious. Rift on the inside and then Matt Starr, who's handy to them. Tea tree flyers out wide, doing a little work there. Couple of lengths away then Jasper's gold, mind the gap and then Royal Sancherac and dot com is last of all. Badger's Wood is the leader, running out near the 1,000 metres. He's about three quarters in front of its contagious and tea tree flyer a length and a half to rift in fourth placing three quarters to Matt Star one and a half mind the gap Jasper's gold and then Royal Centurac and lastly outside dot com about eight or nine from the leader passing the 800 metres and Badger's Wood has had pressure put to him by now it's contagious the outside and tea tree flyer Matt Star's off and running for Gat round the outside now and then rift and a break of three lengths mind the gap Jasper's gold struggling passed by dot com and Royal Centurac as last it's Contagious leading coming up towards the turn. Matt Starr's coming with a strong run as they come around the home turn. Badgers with a length and a half away. Here comes Dot Com. He's starting to come out with his challenge and they've kicked away to Rift. It's Matt Starr taking the lead into the straight. Matt Starr by a length now to its Contagious and Dot Com on the outside and then Badgers Wood passing the 200 metres. The whip's cracking. Matt Starr the outside. It's Contagious. He's not done with and Dot Com is coming. It's Contagious is fighting back on the inside and Matt Starr with Dot Com the outer, it's contagious again, hit the front in the last 50 metres and it's contagious, he's won it by a neck on the line to Dot Com second, Matt Star third and then Badgers Wood, Jasper's Gold, they're coming in at long intervals behind these, Tea Tree Flyer, Rift, Royal Centurac and Mind the Gap last. Favourites won the last after being clearly headed, racking up a winning double for Nash Trewilla and Len Trelaw. They combined with Roxar in the fifth on the card, and a tough fighting win. Second home, number six, dot com, written by Karen McAvoy. And third will go to Matt Starr, number nine, who looked the winner coming up towards the turn, but he died on his run after taking off about uh, 700 metres or so from home. In the last on the program, it's two, six, and nine. It's contagious to win it. He's a really good, honest horse, this fellow. Loves the rain-affected ground. He's now won uh, two of three on heavy ground. He won four of nine on the slow as well. That's when he really fires at his best. And that was a good, tough run. They took off early, a few of them. Nash just uh, bided his time back on the inside, and he had a little bit left when the chips were down, and he pulled through on the inside to win narrowly. Time 2.6.97. Uh, 26.97. Lovely ride by Nash Rawilla, racking up a in the race at 6.10. They're all there now, 1,800 metres. Light starting to fade here at Royal Randwick. To Roman back, keen to get on with it. And they're away in the final event of the day at Royal Randwick and to Roman back jumped nicely from the inside. Northern Rover out well. So was Rings of Gold, Power of Pegasus, Regal Zero. Rara Eclipse not far back with Touch of Sun, Masonry, Umarond. And Chief Testimony wide out and last as they race to the back. And the favourite Rings of Gold is the leader from Regal Zero with Power of Pegasus settling third. To Roman back is fourth and then Northern Rover. A couple Touch of Sun wide. Rara Eclipse in the centre. Masonry's over on the fence from Chief Testimony and Dad absolute as Humorond racing down towards the 1200 marker and rings of gold a clear cut leader now from Regal Zero. Two and a half lengths to Power of Pegasus followed by to Roman back touch of Sun. One further away is Northern Rover. Chief Testimony is starting to make a little leeway followed by Masonry and Rare Eclipse and Humorond deep and last as they leave the back straight behind them. 950 out and rings of gold is the clear cut leader over Regal Zero. Third posse occupied by touch of Sun and then to Roman back and Power of Pegasus 
Vicious is the other. A little over a length, the Northern Rover parked on the inside of Chief Testimony. A good margin away next is Masonry as they come along the side of the track. Rara eclipses back in second last position as they race towards the home corner of very, very compact field. And as they come towards the bend at the 550 marker, Yumarond is still last. On the swing, Rings of Gold. Well, the rider's going very, very wide on Rings of Gold as they set sail for the run of the judge. Rings of Gold getting out into the centre of the track. A couple of Regal Zero to Roman back. And then a gap to Power of Pegasus followed by Chief Testimony. Rings of Gold down to the 220. About two lengths clear to Roman back is battling on doggedly. Clear of Regal Zero and then Power of Pegasus. Rings of Gold is still in front. To Roman back is making a big, big fist of it now. To Roman back claims Rings of Gold. And to Roman back wins the last. Rings of Gold second. Third in was Power of Pegasus. Fourth was Regal Zero. And then Chief Testimony followed by Masonry, Ra Eclipse, Humor on Touch of Sun. And a distant last was Northern Rover. To Roman back, written by Glenn Boss through the inside. But uh, obviously the jocks, particularly months on Rings of Gold, thought the centre of the home straight was a better bet as they straightened and uh, he had no hesitation going wide on Rings of Gold. But to Roman back, claimed Rings of Gold and has drawn away to beat him and in doing so, 640 and 220. Rings of Gold, number two, will return a dividend of $1.80 and uh, the third will be Power of Pegasus number one, and it will return $2.10. The winners now with Guy Walter was formerly with uh, John Size by Pompey Court from Flybaby, five-year-old chestnut gelding, and improved now by the, uh, this is fifth run back from a spell. Glenn Boss aboard, and uh, so today when we look at the uh, hoops that have won races, there's been no doubles. Len Beasley, Rod Quinn, Darren Beedman, Brian York, Chris Munts, Jamie Innes, Corey Brown, and now Glenn Boss. Pretty talented lined up, eh? 152.90, the overall time in the last. Waiting for fourth, fifth and sixth to Roman back. Win four from start number 20. So just looking back at the winners here today, we've got Diamond Dane, Brave Prince, Velsantis, Dress Circle, Moon Flute, Lonro and Stylish Lass. And I don't think I'm going out on a limb by saying the most impressive winner all day was Velsantis. A long neck, the winning margin in the last, a length of the quarter, second and third, 152.90, sectionally 37.78. And to further highlight what I've just said about Vel Santas, he was the only horse to break 35 for the last 600 metres. He ran 34.81. I think that stamps him as well above average. Super.